I have. But the ways there are. You know what you need to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jeremiah said that the Lord said, Stand ye in the ways. How many times, how many of us have walked away? I have. Amen. I've been hurt. I've been wounded. But you're a preacher. How can you get hurt and wounded? Amen. I've been hurt and I've been wounded in the house of God. Amen. To the point that, amen, I just want to throw my hands up and quit and walk away. But you know what? We ain't got time to be quit. Amen. We don't have time to quit, brother. Amen. If we've ever been in an hour that we need to praise God and that we need to pray one for another, it's right now. Amen. Amen. Things are taking place in our government, amen, that I don't agree with. Amen. You may not agree with or you may agree with. That's up to you. That's your prerogative. Amen. But I'm telling you what, things are taking place. And I'm telling you, the rapture of the church is about to take place any time. But the Lord said, stand ye in the ways. Dad would tell me stories. And I'm hoping next month my dad gets to make it up. He told me stories that when he would walk up to mommy and poppy's house up on the hill hey amen that pathway was already already laid down enough that they've traveled that enough that elder sailor in the middle of the night if they if, if they wanted to go to their to mommy and poppy's house all they do is just walk because the pathway was already laid Amen. the pathway pathway was already trod down all the weeds were already out to the side and, and so all you had to do is walk that pathway. Some of our elders that are seated in the churches today, that the elders are being pushed off to the side as if they are absolutely nothing in the house of God. Amen. They would rather get that loud rock and roll music in the house of God. Amen. And push our elders because, well, our elders don't like that style of music. Well, you know what? I don't either. I don't either. Amen. When you can walk into the house of God and everything is so loud. Uh -huh. Well, everybody will be happy. Yes, we'll be happy over there. We will shout, sing God's praises. Don't take those old hymnals away from me. Because I never shall forget the day when all the burdens of my soul were rolled away. It makes me happy, glad, and free. I'll sing and shout it. But some of the things that are taking place in the churches today, hey man, they get that loud. They get that loud guitar going. Amen. And you don't understand what's being sung. Amen. You don't know what's going on. But next thing you know, you see old brother so-and-so rocking to the music. Old sister so. Amen. Bopping their knees, getting into the music. But Elder Sailor, there was a foundation. There was a pathway that was laid before me. In the book of Acts. On the day of Pentecost, the Bible says that they are all in one mind and in one accord. Jesus told them to, before He ascended, He said to go into Jerusalem and tarry until you be endued with power from on high. When you receive the Holy Ghost, and I believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost, I believe you need to seek for the Holy Ghost if you don't have it. Amen. Yes. Amen. I don't believe in coming up and just saying a couple mammy pammy prayers. Amen. But you get down on your knees and you begin to seek God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. You seek God because that foundation was laid back on the day of Pentecost. I'm a Pentecostal. I'm a Pentecostal. 
Brother Kirk, I'm a Pentecostal. Amen. I'm not ashamed of it. Amen. I'm not ashamed of my ancestors rolling around in the floor. Amen. I'm not ashamed of my mommy and daddy running the aisles. Amen. Amen. And toting us to church every time church was open. Amen. Sometimes, you know, when we had a revival, every night of the week revival. Amen. Every night of the week. Amen. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Amen. No longer just a couple days here and a couple days there. All week long, we were made to go to church. Hallelujah. But you know what? We were in that time in that time of era. Amen. That we didn't have to worry about. Amen. When Daddy said it was time to go to church, it was time to go to church. Amen. Nowadays, people make excuses. Uh -huh. Come on. Oh, brother, so and so. I didn't like the way he preached. Come on. I didn't like the way Elder Sailor got up and testified. He offended me. 